this video will be about our full adventures in Oakland and also back home in Dublin, San Ramon and also Korean barbecue that we had as well. This was a Chinese place that we went to in Chinatown as I came here with my friends a couple of months back. Here you can see dishes like salt and pepper shrimp, you see some salt and pepper chicken, or that pork, you see some chow mein, fried rice, and rice noodles, and you also see some tofu in the back, and also shrimp beans and mushrooms. And basically the portions are huge. So we got a small and even we thought that it was a little too big for us. Here with the typical dim sum dishes like dumplings, shrimp dumplings, rice rolls, and just other stuff that you typically see at a dim sum place. And I got a lot of pork dumplings and hakao, which is a shrimp dumplings. And here we have the different types of pastries like BBQ pork bun, custard bun, a sesame ball, and they also got dumplings as well. So, you know, if you want some pastries, definitely go to this place or any Cantonese shop and, you know, get some pastries. Hey, so we actually just stopped to get like a quick lunch. We stopped at the restaurant that uh, I just showed footage at and it's like a pastry shop but they have like dim sum options. And it's other dishes like chow mein, you have tofu, I think a shrimp. Yeah. And so it's my first time going there but Kevin has actually been second there with time, his friends. Yeah. yeah. So it's his second time so I'm finally getting a chance to try it so mm -hmm. I hope it's pretty good. Let's show you what we got. Mm -hmm. And with Chinatown in Oakland, the the language that you, you hear like on the streets is Cantonese. So if you know Cantonese, like you can order anything, but Mandarin works too. Yeah. So let's take a look and see what we got. So one thing to actually keep in mind, if you come here, there's no seating nearby. We actually just walked around the corner mm -hmm. and we're just gonna eat standing up. Um, yeah. We didn't get like a ton of food. So yeah, we're and just gonna we, eat. Yeah, so we're gonna scuff up. it down. Cause, <laughs> other, Cause the other option was to walk to Lake Merritt with like different benches, but it's like a mile a mile away yeah and, and so <laughs> i even though it would have been nice like if we actually like brought the car here or anything like that because we took the bark here and then we walked it's just more convenient for us to just sit up and eat now rather than walking it's like a mile away so i would say 20 minutes walking right and then uh, the food's gonna be cold by then yeah, so and that's no bueno. i want to try the food when it's piping hot so we're just gonna eat here so we got Chow mein, Chow mein. For her mostly. He's gonna, I'm making him eat this with me because I, I cannot guess, I eat guess. it by myself. We got a. So, BBQ bun, right? Yeah. So. BBQ bun. Tasafa. Yeah. Eat it. And then, what is this? We got oh. some sweet soy sauce. I don't, I'm not gonna use this. So. <laughs> oh, we also got a custard bun, which is my favorite. Yeah. And this is actually going to be our dessert, dessert right here. So, nai huang bao in Mandarin, nai huang bao in Cantonese, I think. Yeah, and then what is this, Kevin? I don't know, what is that? I don't know. It's a surprise. No, it's not. Oh, so this is like the complete dim sum. And here, I'll, I'll tilt the camera down. I'll hold, I'll hold. Yeah, so we have dim sum here. So we have hakao, which is shrimp dumplings. And we have siu mai, which is pork dumplings. Basically the same stuff that you would see in any dim sum restaurant. Yeah. And I love them both. So. And just, I'm just gonna go over these again just so you guys can see. I don't know if you were able to see really well. This was the BBQ bun. Mm -hmm. And then this is the chow mein. And we asked for like a small portion and this is actually pretty large. Like yeah, look they how- fill it, they fill it up. They're not stingy yeah. with the portions. Look how good this is. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this and eat it. And then the one thing about this place though is it was cash only. So no checks, no credit cards. So thank God I, I was carrying cash. I mean, yeah. so always Cash. Yeah, carry, carry I, I, cash. I would say whenever you go to any Chinatown, always carry cash because like a lot of the stores, they're like a lot smaller and they definitely prefer cash. And then actually when you go to some places, if you pay in cash, they actually give you like a discount, discount maybe like five or 10% uh, just for paying in cash. So that's like a pro tip. 
pro tip. Yeah, so let's eat. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Too much good. Hey guys, so we just finished our lunch and it was very delicious. Yeah, it was very good. We didn't actually finish all the noodles just but, because but it was a really big. It was a lot. It was a lot, and um, we don't want to stuff ourselves too much because we are actually going out to eat with his friends tonight. Uh -huh. So definitely want to just you know save that. But I'm, I'm content for now. Yeah, me too. So we're gonna try to walk it off. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but hey, <laughs> just it makes you feel good about. Like eating all, like all this dim sum and the chow. Hey guys, so we are at the Bishop Ranch City Center Mall in San Remo, and this mall I think is like three years old. I think it's pretty new, and it's cool to come back here again to meet up with my friends. Yeah. So as you can see, we've showered. I actually did like a quick wash and go on my hair, and. We're ready for steak. I know, let's do it. I've never had it, so let's do it. And then we're going to a movie afterwards. Shang -Chi, Shang -Chi. So Simu -Lu, it should be fun. Simu -Lu. We'll show you what we're eating today. All right, let's do it, let's go. The steakhouse we went to was called LB Steak. And we started off with oysters and it was basically very fresh and very delicious. For the main entree, we actually got the 48 ounce tomahawk steak for two. But we actually shared it amongst the four of us. And I actually thought it was really delicious. But then it didn't really seem like I got 12 ounces of steak. So probably more like 7 or 8 ounces. For our sides, we got mac and cheese and the truffle fries. They were both very delicious. Hey guys, so we just finished having steak with my friends and it was absolutely delicious. And P.S. the tomahawk wasn't actually big enough for all four of us, so we actually ended up ordering an extra steak, a New York strip, it was 14 ounce. Delicious. However, we were still really hungry and we were just trying to finish, so we actually didn't record, we forgot. Sorry, sorry. But, but do you know, do you guys know what time it is? Boba time! Woo! So we went to Boba Guys and I got the Thai tea milk tea with pearls and almond pudding. What yeah, did you get? and I actually got the matcha latte. So it's our first time coming here. Um, and and I used to live here. <laughs> yeah, he's a native and he's never tried it, which don't really hate, beats don't me. Hate, don't hate. Um, but I'm happy I'm able to try it and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. And I love matcha, mm -hmm. it's like my favorite thing. So we're gonna drink some boba. We're gonna go to the movie theater now and watch some sun See what you represent? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Should be good. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. The following day, we had KBBQ at Ogani with my friends. And this is probably one of my favorite places to hit up in the Bay Area. And, you know, we got steam egg, we got tofu soup. So, we got the usual, like, pork belly, brisket, squid, steak. Kalbi, bulgogi, and basically the staples of any KBBQ place that you would go to. It's a nice meal that allows us to catch up and just talk about our lives. Oh, I love squid by the way. I love it. Yeah. So before moving down to Austin, KBBQ has always been like our thing to do on the weekends because we're always busy with work. But hey, on a Saturday, we can just come out and just pick out and chat. Hey guys, so we just finished KBBQ at Ogani in Concord. And basically, yeah, we are super full. Yeah, it was really good. I really like the barbecue here, but the service is terrible. So. <laughs> oh yeah, like they have a little button that if you press it, ideally they will come. Ideally, but Ideally, they never did. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, the service wasn't good at all. Yeah, I mean, the food is A++, service, like, D-. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, do you guys know what time it is? Boba, boba time! time. Oh, let's do it! We went to our favorite boba place called T4 back home, and I got the lychee smoothie, got my mom the terror milkshake, and Lisa got, I think, a caramel milk tea with mini buns with condensed milk. It was very, very good. So if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. Bye.